next question comes from a young adult who says that they have never been in a relationship. Um, this person said, I don't get turned on. I've felt, you know, romantic attraction, but never physical and sexual attraction. Mm -hmm. So I guess, you know, coming at it from, you know, the perspective of being a young adult, um, maybe feeling like that's kind of weird, you know, Josh, what would you say to that? Yeah, I'd be curious whether it was male or female would be one of the questions I had. And I don't know if there's any indication. In they the don't indicate, no. Okay. So uh, the the reality is that you probably have experienced sexual arousal and response uh, in your body, uh, but you've not been consciously aware of it, which is possible for men and women, but more common with women. That there was a, a secular research study done a number of years ago where uh, gals were kind of hooked up to uh, equipment that monitors uh, arousal, things like pulse, pupil dilation, um, static tension in the skin, um, uh, other aspects of part of physical arousal. And they were uh, shown kind of images that are uh, sexually stimulating kind of in nature, sexual stimuli and uh, uh, kind of recording the physiological response associated with that. And then ask the gals to self-report whether or not they uh, were sexually aroused at all in that. And it was amazing the number of women who reported not being turned on or sexually aroused at all by the, um, what they had seen and experienced in that. While the medical equipment that was monitoring their body said, that, that's not true. And your body was reacting and responding to what you were being exposed to, but the conscious awareness of what was happening with their body was not there. That's so interesting. Yeah, right? Isn't that crazy? And how we can be disconnected from or detached from our own experience of our sexuality. And so I would probably suggest that in this case, you probably have experienced how you're you know, it's, your body probably does respond to sexual stimuli. You probably do have that as part of your experience, uh, but you're probably disconnected from it for one reason or another. And this can happen a lot of times uh, for Christians in a church setting because of some bad theology and messaging around sexuality that can say to be horny, to feel sexual arousal, to have sexual desire is is lust and it's evil and it's bad and it's displeasing to God. And mm -hmm. if you experience that you're sinning and God is unhappy with you and displeased with you and uh, wanting to honor our King and, and love our Lord. And we would take that messaging and, and try to figure out how do I disconnect from and shut down my uh, sexual experience of being a sexual creature. And um, some people struggle with that and try really hard to shut that down to no avail. And they just feel like they're, failing as a Christian because they still get horny or they still get uh, aroused by, you know, things that they see or hear or still experience sexual desire. While some um, are really effective or, uh, you know, they win at that attempt to kind of dissociate and disconnect from their experience. And while it doesn't stop it from happening in their body, their conscious awareness of it is disconnected from. And so there's a sense of I'm you know, I'm maybe winning in that way, uh, but then they get married and they can't connect with their sexuality and things don't work very well. And then they're in my office going, what's happening? I thought everything would be great and work great as I was winning at detaching from and disconnecting. Right. Well, you, you, I think there's this resounding message of, you know, you push away those thoughts, you push it away and God will bless your marriage. And so then it's, it's very shocking when you, you get married and you're like, I, I don't feel blessed. <laughs> right. This doesn't feel very blessing. What, what I do wrong? What's happening here? Yeah, there's a lot of grief with that. We have a lot of couples that we work with like that. And there's real disillusionment and grief. And they're like, I worked so hard at this. I don't understand why. I'm having these difficulties and problems now on the other side of marriage. Um, and it's just, a, you know, an outflow of some bad theology around understanding the goodness of sex and that sexual excitement and desire and longing and 
arousal is a very normal part of how God wired the body and said it is good and that, and that it's, uh, you know, we want to steward our sexuality and the choices that we make and how we express that uh, to be honoring to our, our creator and his design and our future spouse. Um, but demonizing that experience and feeling shame around that experience isn't the answer to stewarding that and isn't, isn't helpful. So uh, could be a, a number of different reasons why uh, this person might be having that experience. Um, those are just a couple of things that come to mind as I hear it initially that are, are pretty common things for me to see. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I think that's a, you know, vulnerable question to ask, but I, I love your answer, Josh. And really just getting to the root of, you know, you know, why, why do you think that you maybe have not experienced this arousal, you know? Yeah. Yeah. What are the, what are the different pieces? You know, what are the maybe things that are contributing to that?